What's up guys, it's your boy Nickelogical back with Outlast Whistleblower. So here I am, uh... Okay. Oh, here I am, okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Alright. Oh. Uh. Yep. From J. Blair at MurkoffCorp.us.com to H. Grant at Murkoff Corp. Subject Resignation for Mental Health, CC 8208. Miss Grant. You may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville, uh, Colorado, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consulting contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visit Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant healthcare debts. Hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself, or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is what I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Ooh, all right. Anything around here? All right. jump over that. Oh, wait. Oh, yes! A battery! Okay. Alright. Oh. What? Oh, I was supposed to go up here. Okay. Oh. Gosh! Oh, come on. 
Ah. Alright, let's read the notes. In the cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it. Or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire. But more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Oh god. Can I? Oh yes I can. Darn, not again. Alright, alright, here we go. Scared me. Jeez. Another battery, at least. Okay. Okay. What's? Uh. Just. I have. 
Okay. Another battery, okay. Let's read this document. Case MM1200715, update 271. Form note, all material herein to be transcribed according to form 4803 with forensic revisions as benefits ongoing lawsuit 1200715, author Ethan Strizkendaraja. Raja. Notes, this is a request for specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Murkoff Charitable Psychiatry, Psychiatry uh, incorporation incorporated uh, USA originally fi filed in 2010 at the time of Miss Cho's termination the uh, psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine of female employees and patients had been well established already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children five of them fatally Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility than to other buildings and eventually entirely off of the Mount Massa facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wallrider necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Ms. Cho has succeeded <coughs> to me, has succeeded in acquiring a court ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post dated, providing uh, ameliorating uh, information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise Ethan Sriskandaraja, uh, consultant MM214. Okay. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, here we go. Okay, well, I did it. There we go. Alright, that guy I think is gonna be an enemy later. Like, he's just... What? Oh gosh, okay. Is there anything else over here? Break it, break it, break it. No! You were mine! Oh, God. 
god. Oh, that. Okay, that burns. Ah. Oh, document, okay. <sighs> Excerpt from the recordings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD, employed by Mount Massive Hospital, 1958 to 1965. Father Clark. Far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of your staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or a similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily uh, chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us uh, relying on your faith and hard work. DBNR, Dr. Newhouse, MD, May 20th, 1961. Oh god. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Oh boy. Okay, before I keep moving up though, um, yeah, I'm just gonna end this episode right here. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I also hope you guys have a good freaking day. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Whistleblower. So, peace. <laughs>